Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on the Mini Cooper again. The last time you were here, we pulled the head off and we checked the flatness of the head and it was off by about eight thousandths. But we did not clean the surfaces before we checked, so we need to do that today. Make sure we're really that far off. The maximum amount that it can be warped is four thousandths. So right now we're double that. So we need to get to work and clean this head up and recheck it. This is just a yellow Roloc disc off of Amazon. They work great on cleaning up cylinder heads. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there. All right, guys, now that we got this head all cleaned up, let's uh, throw the straight edge on there and recheck the clearance. I got my filler gauge. Uh, this one is four thousandths, which is the maximum amount this can be out of flatness. So, ooh, it's just barely four thousandths. All right, awesome. So our cylinder head is still within specifications, just barely, but it's good because now we don't have to worry about unwarping the cylinder head at all. Uh, what we can do is just lap the bottom of the cylinder head and make it nice and flat. If it were more than uh, the tolerance, then we would have a problem with the camshaft binding up and we would have to de-warp the head some to get it back within specifications before we could lap it and make it nice and flat. So now we can move on to cleaning up the block and making sure it's nice and flat. Claim a brand new name, oh. And I'm gonna lie to you. I'm a bit nervous that I might screw everything up that I've ever done. But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that. My miss, gotta find what I'm good at. I guess I look here, look there, over where am I scared? Where am I at? I gotta make it in this life. Whatever makes me happy, no, I'm doing things. Summer on a goose and spray, or find a nightclub for the end of the night. Oh, and we all got dreams, we all want things. But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe? All right, so we got the head nice and clean, and I checked the flatness of it, it's perfect. Uh, no problems there, I didn't expect there would be. So now we can hop back over to the cylinder head and pull all of the valves out and get ready to lap them. To do that, we're gonna use this valve spring compressor. I got this off Amazon as well. I will leave a link to all of these tools in the description if you're interested. So basically you just take the, the tool and stick it over and uh, this bottom part here rests on the valve underneath and this goes on the spring. I've already got this set up, so now we can just get the keepers out here. Uh, they're just little steel inserts, and we should be able to just pop those right out like that. There we go. And then you can just pop this tool off, and you got your spring. Push the valve down, and there we go. All right, so now we can go through and polish the valves and I'm using just like a buffing pad here. It won't hurt the metal at all. It'll just take off all the carbon. All right, guys, we got all the valves clean and we are ready to relap the valves. I already went ahead and did one here so I could show you the difference. Um, but you'll see you have a nice, shiny, uniform profile here that the valve itself rides on. Uh, and it just gives it a really good surface to, to seal that so you don't have any loss of compression. 
and you'll see on this side how it is much duller and there's some pitting and stuff in there so we just want to grind that out and give it a nice uh, service on both the valve and on the head lapping your valves is pretty simple all you need is some of this valve grinding compound uh, and one of these tools to rotate the valve with uh, and I'll show you how it's done Just gonna take a little bit of the compound and put it around on the back of the valve here. All right, and we'll just slide it in. And try not to get any of the compound on the front, otherwise this won't stick. You want to get a nice suction on there and then we'll just start rotating it back and forth. Every now and then pull it up and move it over some. You'll hear the change of sound. You just move it, you'll hear it grinding again. If it's not sticking, you may have gotten a little bit of compound on it, just wipe it off. It should stick again. There we go. You can pull it out and inspect it, see if it needs any more or not. The valve itself is looking pretty good. And that looks pretty good in there. So go ahead and speed this up a little bit so you don't have to suffer through all of it.
forget to wash your valves and your head and everything with soap and water really well. You don't want that valve grinding compound getting anywhere uh, after you put this together. We are finally ready to lap the cylinder head. And what I've done is I've got a piece of marble tile here that is nice and flat. I've checked it with my straight edge and it is just as flat as the head of the motor. A lot of people use glass by what I've read, but uh, when I've taken my straight edge to glass, I am not seeing that it's perfectly flat. I took my flat edge up to Lowe's and I found this piece that's nice and flat. And then I've just got some adhesive backed wet dry paper here. And I'll go ahead and do this in a figure eight motion and I'll check it every few seconds and see where we're at. cylinder head's really coming out nice, but is it going to work? Make sure you hit subscribe so you find out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.